name's Ross. I'm going to prepare this week's take-home meal. I have the turkey pot pie, and we also have the hog wild uh, boar meatballs with mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, the pot pie, you can just place right onto a tray. Uh, we want to have the oven preheated at 350. The potatoes, you just uh, pop off the top. The meatballs and gravy are together in one container, and you can just put the meatballs and sauce directly on top, push them down, get all the sauce, and then you can take the lid, pop that back, just loosely reseal it, and then you throw those in the oven at uh, 350 degrees. Once you're about five minutes away from the pot pie or your uh, meatballs and mash being ready, uh, then it's time to do the vegetables. We have the mint and parsley butter in the pan. I just broke it up into a few little chunks. Uh, just makes it melt a little bit quicker. You're gonna wanna make sure uh, that that's fully melted or close to before you pop the veggies in the pan. Uh, the spring vegetables here, uh, so kale, Edgar Farms peas, uh, Romano beans and bok choy. Uh, so you've coated the bottom of the pan in the butter. You can tip your vegetables in. And this is gonna cook down for about two minutes. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, crunchy still. You still want it to be uh, vibrant, but just starting to soften. Okay, uh, right after we've done our uh, sauteed vegetables, the last thing you wanna get ready for dessert is the uh, salad. Uh, so we have salad greens again from uh, Green Eggs and Ham. They've done a really nice uh, mix just for us. You can pop those in a bowl. The maple vinaigrette, uh, everyone has a little bit of extra dressing. It's not necessarily in perfect proportion to the greens. Uh, so you just want to pop in however much you think is uh, appropriate. Make sure you give it a stir because this is in a, a emulsified dressing. Think of that nice mix. And pop it nice in a bowl. Um, once you finish everything else, uh, last thing to prepare is the dessert. Uh, the white chocolate pot of creme, yours will be uh, individually portioned in the bags. Uh, macerated berries and crystallized canola seeds. You're just gonna pour it over the top. Uh, don't be shy about uh, the juice. You should pour all that on. It's all lovely. It's been macerated in a little bit of uh, port and sugar. You have the whole top covered. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and sprinkle the crystallized canola seeds for some texture. For the pot pie, all you're looking for is a nice golden top. So it's been in for 25 minutes. It's just starts to go a little bit golden, crispy. All bubbling, looks delicious. You pop that on a serving tray, that's ready to go. Once you've finished uh, sauteing your vegetables, uh, I did just put a little bit of salt uh, on the end. So you can just taste it and make sure it's to your liking. Uh, and the uh, meatballs and potatoes, I've literally just scraped it straight out of the tin from the oven. They're good to go as is. I'm Aisha. I'm the sommelier and general manager here at Jean House. I've picked out a couple of bottles of wine to go with our dinner in your home this week. It's something that we'll continue to do. So over here we have our wild boar meatballs. I thought with the meatballs and the potatoes with something a little bit richer, it'd be nice to have um, something with a bit of a medium body, not too big because as you can see, uh, the, um, the dish is still a little bit delicate, not a lot of rich sauces with that either. So I picked out the Avignosi Vino Nobelle de Montepulciano, which is a mouthful to say, but very delicious. So uh, beautiful notes of red cherry, a little bit of almost balsamic and uh, floral uh, violets, I would say. Um, and it has nice structure, the nice tannins to go really well with the meatball and sort of attach onto that fat and um, smooth it over so that uh, it serves almost like a, a palate cleanser I feel like with each 
um, sip between every bite. And the second bottle of wine uh, is to go over here with our turkey pot pie. So turkey pot pie, um, it's such a great comfort food, uh, rich. It does have the pastry that's rich and then also uh, the filling inside. So I, I would like something with a little bit more acid with that. So I picked the Chateau de Tour Rui, um, which is a Gamay Noir. So it's from Beaujolais, that's just the little stuff. So it also has some nice red fruit characteristics such as strawberry. Uh, however, structure-wise, it is lighter than the Sangiovese here and it has this really beautiful lingering acidity matched with some really good mineral notes to chew. So because of that, I thought it would be great with the, the turkey pot pie. I always like to pair something that I feel will um, sort of lift up or brighten my meal. So that's my my philosophy of how I how I pair things. So that's where that's why I picked these two. Um, and again, you can order these through us, but you can look for wines of similar profile. Uh, if you'd like, if you have a few wines at home you're not sure of, you can always send us an email beforehand and we're happy to help you work through even with your own selection. So thank you.